Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Tonight, we're talking about transparency in the state legislature. Well, on Tuesday, a House committee updated a policy on who can see contracts that the state enters into. WJTV's Beth Alexander joins us now from the Capitol building. And Beth, what are you learning? Well, Byron and Melanie, that policy allows representatives to look at the contracts, but they can't make copies and they can't talk about what's in the contracts with anyone else. And that includes me and you, the people that elected them. This is public money, so these are public records that anybody should be able to see. District 66 Representative Jarvis Dortch doesn't agree with a policy change made Tuesday. The House Management Committee updated what they say is an existing policy barring everyone but legislators from seeing contracts. And while that applies to any contract, the one at hand involves Ed Build. The state hired Ed Build in October to reevaluate the public school funding formula. The contract is for $250,000. The state will pay half and grants will cover the rest, but that's the only information made public. You shouldn't have to jump through a hoop. You shouldn't have to send in an information request. This is something you should be able to come up to the Capitol and see this information. WJTV asked Governor Phil Bryant for his thoughts and the idea of making contracts public. Those are the taxpayers' dollars and the taxpayers' business. Uh, again, the legislature is able to make those decisions without uh, having to ask the executive branch. And so that's their decision to make. I will say, um, I think uh, more open government is a better government. A 1972 state law doesn't require the legislative branch to release records unless they're related to expense records like travel. Thursday, Senate President Pro Tem Terry Burton denied our request to view the contract between the state and Ed Bild, citing that law. District 12 Representative Jay Hughes, however, saw the contract for the first time Thursday. He called it innocuous and dry as a five-gallon bucket of baby powder. If there's truly nothing in it of any importance, then why the secrecy? Why is it that you want to keep this document from the public other than just to say you can do it? Well, when Ed Build was hired, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves and Speaker of the House Philip Gunn made the announcement. Neither of them were at the public hearing that was held for Ed Build today at 4 p.m. Now, we reached out to both of their offices. A spokesperson for Speaker Gunn was not, said that he was not available today for an interview, and they did not send us a statement as we requested. The office of the Lieutenant Governor never responded to our request. At the State Capitol Building, Beth Alexander, WJTV 12.